Hi everyone. Marianne Cowan here from Pinery Paper Crafts. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Ottawa, Canada. Just making sure this is straight, otherwise it's going to drive me crazy. Alright. Welcome. Hello, Manek and Barb. And hi, Wanda. Thank you for joining me tonight. I come live Sunday nights at 7. And during the week, I come live every day at 3. This upcoming week, I won't be live Wednesday because I'll be out of town. And then the following week, I'm back at the cottage. So, you'll see me a few times this week, but not quite every day. Just a few updates. If you're interested in any of the August classes to go, um, please make sure to register. There are only a couple of spots left in the Gleaming Christmas class. And I'll show you those cards in a minute. I also have a fall stamp camp, which is a full day, 10 to 3. Usually it's in person, but we're going to have just as much fun online. And for that one, we're making 16 cards, as well as, I never remember all the details, 16 cards, and the theme is Fall, Thanksgiving, and Gratitude. You'll get a free pack of gold cards and envelopes, and we're going to make a little 3D project and a treat holder. There is an early bird price on that, which is $65, and it's worth it, believe me, you get a lot of stuff. Uh, the Christmas extravaganza stamp to go is October 17th, so I'm going to be online during the day, um, but you can watch it anytime you want. It'll be recorded. We're doing 14 Christmas cards, 6 Christmas tags, a 3D project, a Christmas treat holder, and you're going to get a pack of Wonder of the Season cards and envelopes. Everything's prepped, ready for you. All you have to do is add the greeting. And... The... Oh, here we go. Christmas Gleaming Class to Go, eight cards. I'll show them to you. And then there's the Whale Done Class to Go, four card, forty dollars, eight cards. This one is also forty dollars. And you do get a lot of stuff. Just a reminder: I'm giving away a trimmer every month. The winner for July was Ruth. And if you got bonus day coupons in July, it's time to redeem them which is easy to do with all the beautiful things in the new catalog. So I'll just quickly show you the cards from the Christmas Gleaming set. That's the bonus card. So you're going to get four. We made a bunch of extra ones one day on a Facebook Live. So you get four cards, four designs, two of each. Knight of Navy, Pretty Peacock, Very Vanilla, and Mossy Meadow. Everything will be cut. A couple of them are little 3D ornaments. This is a really cute punch and stamp set. That one's also 3D. The ribbon will look a little different. That's a retired ribbon. I was just waiting to get mine. And then the navy blue ribbon, which hmm, might need to order more of that as well. All right. And then as a bonus, you get this pack of brightly gleaming foil elements. And these are two bonus cards. So you'll get two cards when oh, we were trying different greetings when we were making this. You'll get two cards that you can use the foil elements on. Well, you can use the foil elements on anything. And this is the stamp set and the two punches that coordinate with this set. And you can add that on if you want and I pay the tax and shipping. All right, so today we're just going to review some of the cards that we've made with the poinsettia petals and um, coordinating dies. This is in the new annual catalog, which customers can order from now. And I know a lot of my customers ordered the poinsettia set. I just I should have flagged it, but I didn't. It is beautiful. Beautiful, and it cuts out really nicely, which is important, if, especially if you're making a lot of Christmas cards. Well, here we go. 
Isn't it beautiful? So we've tried it in all different types of paper and today we're going to try something different. Here's the Poinsettia Place Designer Series paper. There's special plush paper, these beautiful little beaded pearls and some ribbon. It's an awesome set or suite of products. So we're just going to review some of the cards that we've made so far. Here was one. Um, in this Facebook Live I was trying to use all different types of paper for our poinsettia. So this one was vellum and this is the beautiful brushed uh, metallics. Hi Shannon. This one was in silver with the blues and here's the beautiful poinsettia paper. This is gold. It's a little bit brighter gold than our normal gold. This was the red foil that's in the catalog and the beautiful plush designer series paper really pretty. There's some more of the paper. This one was done in very vanilla with Wink of Stella which actually I need for tonight. And then this one was done in the red velvet. So beautiful. That was the first little batch that we did. Then I did another batch of um, these three. And I did very vanilla and added no color to the poinsettia except for the foils here. So I was using the gold specialty designer series paper, which is really pretty. Very vanilla. The dainty diamond background embossing folder for all of them. This one I used the different brushed metallic foils. There's three colors, copper, gold, and copper, gold, and uh, bronze, I think. And then this one, I used one of the backgrounds from the gold specialty designer series paper. So that was the next one that we did. And then I decided to change it up and use, still use very vanilla background and some of the um, specialty gold pieces and then add color. So this one is velvet. Again, same background. And I added the specialty gold designer um, series paper elements. That's a great package. Here's another one. This is real red cardstock, heat embossed in gold with the scripty background. And then this one had the subtle background. Another one of the elements from the spe gold specialty designer series paper. And this one was red foil. And then the wow card for that day I used the plush vellum or plush designer series paper. I don't even know if they call it plush vellum, but it definitely is. And I cut it using the poinsettia dies. And then I used the balmy blue glitter paper, thanks to Shannon who gave me a few pieces. And then vellum, and this is balmy blue. Isn't that gorgeous? I think this is my favorite one. So this one inspired me to try some other non-traditional red and green colors. So today we're using pink and champagne foil. And the champagne foil has a hint of pink in it. So what I've done is we're going to make two cards, one with pink and one with champagne. I was gardening today so hopefully my nails aren't crazily dirty. All right. And I've cut out a whole bunch of elements out of vellum and other things. I tried to use just the elements in the poinsettia set. It's hard for me to do that because I like using everything. But it's kind of like a little DIY project. For my daughter's birthday, I got her this DIY bucket of flowers from Rome Flora, which is a florist in Western, uh, just outside of Ottawa on the West End. And it's just a beautiful bucket of flowers that they have growing in their flower farm. And then you make your own. And then when I was laying these all out, I thought, oh, it's kind of like a DIY bucket of all the little accents I'm going to use. So I have some cut out with um, champagne foil, which is still available. Some of the um, papers aren't available anymore. Champagne is still available. It's very pretty. It's a subtle pink to it. I was going to do silver, but I already did a silver one and I like this one better. Pink, petal pink, no, no, uh, yeah, petal pink. And here's petal pink of these elements. 
doing a little buffet here. You know how I like to roll. And then vellum. So, oh, and I threw in a little sprig one because I was doing something else with a sprig punch. So, we'll leave those over here. So I've taken my base, petal pink, eight and a half by uh, eight and a half by five and a half. Today I was adding mulch and I added a couple of new flowers. I got some new daisies. I extended one of my flower beds and um, added a lot of mulch. It looks so pretty when you add mulch for about a week. Hello, Vicky from Australia. I have no clue what time it must be there, but welcome. So, um, petal pink. And then I took a piece of petal pink four by five and a quarter, embossed it using this scripty embossing folder. And for both our cards, we're going to use the square vellum doilies that are part of the peony set. So we're going way out of my comfort zone because I'm, as you know, a traditional red and green Christmas girl. I don't even think I've ever made um, blue poinsettias, let alone pink. I know there are pink poinsettias though. I don't think I've ever had one. I don't know if we can find them here, but all right, so there we go. That's there. This I'm going to add in the middle. And because I'm gonna put this right in the middle, I'm not really concerned about getting glue. So I'm not even gonna use my sponge. I'm being lazy and I'm just going to put a little bit of glue. <laughs> and try not to get it all over my fingers, which I totally did. I'm gonna put this one in the shape of a diamond. That was probably a bad idea. I'm just gonna grab a baby wipe because otherwise it'll be a mess. I always keep baby wipes in my office, my craft room I should say. It used to be an office, but it's totally just a craft room now. Okay, I'll leave it out in case I make another mess. Next, we're going to layer up. Oh, I do have my Merry Christmas. They might be too big, though. I did that the last time. Oh, well, if it doesn't have a greeting, you know, that's fine by me. So we have our four pieces of the poinsettia flower. So let's go ahead and put that together. I went ahead and folded it so you didn't have to watch me fold it. For the foil, it's so easy. You just take it and pinch it. Now, you might not want it quite that folded, but whatever makes you happy. Sun bleaches, yeah, I know. But it looks so pretty when you first put it on. Makes me happy. And then, I know you can turn it over, but we have quite a lot of gardens, so that would take a long time. Anyways, it looks good today. Oops. And when I was doing all the mulching, just it's, it was supposed to rain all day today, but I got it done before the rain. This gentleman walked by and said, beautiful flowers. And I thought, oh, thank you. Made my day. Because right now we have dead grass and it's hard keeping stuff alive right now. All right, I did not even cut out leaves for any of these poinsettias because we're going to go crazy with the little embellishments. Now I did do a Merry Christmas in vellum. I also did one in pink. Maybe this one might be better. Or this one might be okay. Obviously on your card you can do whatever you like. Yeah I kind of like that. We'll leave it there and see how wild I go with everything else. And we'll leave those over to the side just after 9 a.m. Oh, well, good morning then, Vicki. It's 7 p.m. here. So, in Australia, is it winter right now? Okay, so this is the idea. We're gonna have it going this way, and we're gonna have stuff shooting out the sides. So, remembering I'm working backwards. Are you a demonstrator? So as I usually do, I just start adding stuff. Sometimes I lay it all out. Today I'm feeling adventurous and I'm just 
going to add it on. Okay, that didn't stick, which was interesting. This one's already shifted. There we go. Then I'm going to add a vellum of the same branch. I just keep adding it to make sure I'm not getting too far up or off the side. Then I'm going to add a pink. So in the poinsettia dies, they have these berries I call little berries and bigger berries. There are stamps to go with it. To be honest, I mostly use it just cut out. Now I'm going to add this one. I didn't want to add it too soon because I don't want it right up against the flower because, oh, you have some nice, are your cold days like Canada's cold days? I like that and I think I need one more. Let's do one more vellum over on the side. All right, and I haven't decided what I'm putting in the middle yet. Okay, I like that. And I think I do like this Merry Christmas. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that on. I'm just gonna use glue dots because that's gonna tell me where my bottom pieces can and cannot come out. So my bottom pieces might not be quite as crazy tonight. I like this one because it's got scripty dye and this is scripty was kind of what I was thinking. Now this has to kind of be in the middle. Kind of, I think I do know what I'm going to put in the middle there. All right. So at the bottom, I'm going to start with this one again. Sometimes I do them the same. Hi, Mary Jo. I'm glad you found us today. I guess you're home from the cottage or maybe you're at the cottage. We don't have internet at the cottage well enough that you could watch a video. If you stand at a certain corner at a certain time of day when the stars are aligned, you can maybe check your mail. That's about it, which you know is a good thing. I don't mind that when I'm at the cottage because otherwise I'd be checking everything all the time. All right, this one's gonna go a little lower, I think. Yeah, we're still good. And I do like it draping fairly close to the sentiment. So I'm gonna add this champagne foil. The champagne foil is so pretty. It's different than silver. Oh, you just got home. It's different than silver. It's got a little pink tinge to it, is what I'll say. Now, I do want to make sure this is in the middle. Okay, so that's getting close to going off the edge, but I like it. And I think I just need one more. I think I did the exact same on the bottom as I did on the top. That's okay. Maybe I'll put this one more this way. All right, I like it. Now I'm going to turn it over, make sure everything's stuck. It's just a big mess of stuff. I'm going to add a couple of dimensionals. Yes, Vicki, once you've started with Stampin' Up, nothing else compares. I know the first time you probably go to a party or buy Stampin' Up, I was this way. I thought, oh my gosh, why is it so expensive? Kind of like Pampered Chef. And then once you start using it, and then you go back and grab something from a craft store, you realize the difference in quality. And if you're going to take all the time to make a card, well, hello, you want to make sure that it's not going to fall apart. You can buy dimensionals at Dollarama, and I've done this. Um, you give someone the card, or like two weeks later, the ink dries at, or the Dot, the glue dries out and the card falls apart. All right, so I added an elegant faceted gem to the middle. 
And then I'm going to add a couple just around. There. I like it. I'm going to save these because I use the exact same color elements for each card. So I'll just put that there. So that's our first card. I'd rather get a few really nice products from Stampin' Up than a gazillion dollar sale items from, you know, somewhere else. That's just personal. And I am a demo, but I did start out buying one. I should pull it out one time and use it. One stamp set with these little fairies on it. Or no, angels on it. I just love it. An old One of the um, former wooden ones. And that's what I used. I'm a former teacher, so using rubber stamps, wood rubber stamps, alphabet stamps to mostly, um, I've used a lot. But nothing compares to the quality of Stampin' Up. Nothing I've found anyways. There could be other good companies out there, but I love Stampin' Up. And we get a discount, so it's perfect. All right, so there's our first one. I think it needs something over here. Now, I'm not going to put Wink of Style on this one, obviously, because it's got the champagne foil. So the champagne foil, you can see how it kind of picks up the pink. I was going to use a different color base. I thought of using blue, but it really has a little bit of a pink tinge to it. So I think that's pretty. I like that. All right, the next one we're going to do is pink on pink. No, not pink. On, yeah, pink on pink. So same thing, eight and a half by 11, fold it in half. Yes, Shannon, I'll lend it to you. I have a few oldies and goodies. Well, thanks, Vicki. If you watch me regularly, you know this is kind of my, what I like to do, how I like to make my cards. So for the next layer for this one, I'm just going to scoot this all out of the way. The next layer, I took the champagne foil and I embossed it using the Scripty embossing folder. This uses quite a bit of your foil. That's the only thing. So someone very special is going to be getting this card because the foil is significantly more expensive than the regular paper. But for good reason, because it definitely has that wow. I don't think, were you on at the beginning, Vicki, where I showed the blue one I made the other day? I'll pull it back out so we can, I'll show it to you at the end. These were my out of the box, out of my comfort zone um, cards. Now we could put it this way, but I did find that, well, let's put it that way. Let's do one of each. Do you think it'll show up as much? Well, we'll try. And you know what? When I give this card to someone, they're not going to say, oh, I wish she put the doily the other way. They're going to go, oh my goodness, you made that? That's what I love about card making. Or the first time someone comes to a class, and Mary Jo's on this, on right now. I remember when Mary Jo came, and Mary Jo will remember too. She said, I'm not crafty. I said, you don't have to be because I prep all the card kits, all the cards for you so that when you leave, you have beautiful cards. And then once you come to a couple of classes and see the basic design, because my designs are pretty consistent, then it's easy to make your own. Then Mary Jo's son asked her to make his wedding invitations. <laughs> so obviously her cards are really good. And I know she's already done a lot of her Christmas cards. With COVID, a lot of people have been in their craft rooms, which I think, you know what? In these crazy times, oh darn. If you're gonna do something, crafting and sending someone that you can't be near a card, what could be better than that? I meant to do this before I put it together, but let's just add some now. Everything needs Wink of Stella. So it's hard to see on camera, but it does add a beautiful shimmer to your flower. This is a new one, but I feel like I almost need to get another one. However, I do use it every day. I'll just go quickly because I can go back and add some more later. And those of you who have Wink of Stella know, just that little subtle sheer is so pretty. When you do use glue dots to put these together, they do turn a little bit, so just be cognizant of that. Now, I did, I do, we don't have any more glitter paper now except the balmy blue that we just introduced. 
So I remembered we had a glitter paper, so I pulled it out. It's retired and it's called Blushing Bride. So I thought, oh, I'll use that because some people probably have it in their stash. But then when I put the pink on, I don't know. Oh, actually it doesn't look too bad now. I thought it might be too much the wrong color, but we'll try. So I just did a couple. So we might include them, we might not. So this is Blushing Bride. I have a couple of packs of it left. Blushing Bride glitter paper. The only glitter paper we have right now is Balmy Blue. I love glitter paper. We used to have silver, gold. We had a beautiful one called, hmm, it was just white, it looked like snow. At least maybe we do have it and I couldn't find it in the catalog. Vicki, you're making more and sending lots this year. I know, there's so many people that I'm not gonna be able to see. They're gonna get a card. Now, these ones are taller, which is why I always put them at the back. So again, I'm gonna start with this little pink one. The card's gonna look totally different though because we have this beautiful background. Oh no, I don't wanna do that because now, here I had champagne, but here I have pink on pink. No, 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 can't do that. So let's start with vellum. I never put the same color next to the color. I can put it as a second layer though even though it's showing a little bit, but I don't often put it right against. I am gonna throw this on, just cause you might have it in your stash. Oh yeah, we have black glitter paper, you're right. I don't think that would look really pretty on this card, but you're right, we do have black. Now this one didn't punch out. All right, next I'm gonna add a champagne. And we do have the psychedelic, what's it called? Rainbow psychedelic, rainbow glitter paper. And I did look at that to see if I could find a little pink section, but it wasn't happening. All right, I'm gonna, this one might get quite a bit at the top and less at the bottom. And we have to figure out what we're gonna do for the sentiment or nothing at all. This one might not get a sentiment because it's got a lot, it's got a lot going on. Yeah, rainbow. The rainbow stuff, I bought it. I saw it on a few cards, but to be honest, I haven't even used it. It's cool though. And you can use different sections of it. I saw it done with the whale, um, whale done, some of those cards. All right, let me just go back now and see how much I got going on. Although this pink is the wrong color of pink, we were having this discussion one day at card class. One of my customers said, do you have a pink? And I said, yeah, I got lots of pink. We we're looking for cardstock because she wanted to order some. And it's amazing how, well, that one's a bit orangey or that one's, you know, a bit, not exactly the pink she was looking for. Now that one's too high. So I'm gonna take it off and move it down. This is not pretty from the back, but it's pretty from the front. Okay, what am I missing? Vellum. I gotta get one of each up there. And yeah, I do have that one. So I'm gonna put the vellum right in the middle. It'll show up nicely. You have to think about what it's gonna back up against. So this is going to all go against the foil. So then I don't want the foil right at the back, I want something behind it. And almost could put another, pink back there, I think I will, just to make sure that that foil piece is not foil on foil. It looks fine, but I tend to get a bit carried away. Okay, that looks good for up there. Now we're not putting much down here because <laughs> I have a lot going on there. So maybe we'll just do a little champagne, which we don't have on the top. That would be good. We'll, we'll put it right away against the pink because then it won't be against the foil champagne. 
Mary Jo, it still makes you laugh. It still makes me laugh every time I think about it. All right, then I'm gonna do a vellum one, I think. I'm just gonna check. Yeah, that looks good. And then I think I'll do a pink one kind of out the bottom to see what I have left. I'm not putting a greeting on this one because There's a lot of other things going on. And I feel like one more pink one. Yeah, I think that's gonna be it. I always say that and then I sit here adding more and more. And for this card, I'm going to use the Champagne Rhinestone Basic Jewels, which are very pretty. Now. I don't see how high I have this, but I really want it in the middle of my doily. I might have overdone it a little bit. I notice sometimes when I finish my cards and look at them, they're not centered in any way, shape, or form. All right, we can adjust those, and if one has to get squished a little bit in the envelope, oh well. It needs something else down here, though. I think it needs one more vellum. Does anyone else like sending <laughs> bow? Hmm. Yeah, Barb knows I like to add bows to everything, but we are not adding a bow to this. Does it, I was gonna say, does anyone else like sending or do pink cards? I know yesterday, a lot of people said they love doing blue. I had never done, well not never, but rarely done blue. Yeah, I think that's enough. Okay, we're going to pop this over and add a couple of dimensionals in case it's not got enough height already let's just add a little more there is a beautiful champagne ribbon that i did think about adding a band across but really it would get lost i don't think you need anything else on this card It's kind of fun doing Facebook Lives because a card like this I could never do in class. A, I would be up for three weeks punching everything out. And it would, we'd be here all day. So it's fun that I can come live, show you alternative cards, and then the classes to go are ones that I would more, you would see probably in my cl regular classes. All right, now we're going to add a couple more rhinestones. These are so pretty. I was so glad these carried over because these were in the last catalog. What were they part of? Um, I think the Paris set. Hmm. You know me, I got need three. I'm gonna put two down here. All right, so we used champagne rhinestone basic jewels. And they have three different sizes, like most of them do. We did add Wink of Stella. It's hard to see, but it's there. Okay, so today our cards featured Petal Pink with um, Champagne Foil and the doilies from Square Vellum Doilies. They're part of the Peony set. We've used Foil and Pink. We've used the Scripty Embossing Folder. And then we've used the elements from the poinsettia die set. And I would show them to you, but they're messed up over there. Now, someone did um, email me on my Facebook page, no, on my blog, and asked me about embossing foil and that she has trouble getting the foil out of the dies. I will say you have to know your machine pretty well. And sometimes if you do it back and forth twice, it really presses it in and you have to be careful. Um, but sometimes it doesn't quite cut. I know some of the ornate dies, sometimes I do have to put them through twice to get them to cut out. I use my little pokey tool very carefully. For these ones here, uh, this one, you do have to be careful and you'll notice on your dies there's little, most of them, there's little pinholes where you can push it through to start getting it out. And sometimes I'll, as soon as the little piece is out, 
I'll gently run this under to get the rest of the um, dye out. You do have to be careful though, vellum is very dainty. Well, I mean, it's pretty sturdy, but it still, it's vellum. All right, so those are the two we did today. I'm just gonna leave it a second so that I can get a shot for my Facebook. Let's put those with it. And then yesterday, for those who, uh, not yesterday, Friday, we did this blue one. And I used the, I already forget the name, the um, plush, plush uh, poinsettia paper from the poinsettia set. This one might have been pretty, I don't know, this one's pretty intense though. So there's the blue one that we did on Friday. But today is just about the pink. So champagne foil, petal pink, poinsettias in pink. Who knew? Yes, the blue one is nice. I think this is my all-time favorite. So this glitter paper we still do have. That's called Balmy Blue. And Vicki, I did this, if you just check back on my videos, this is on Friday's Facebook Live, where I did some other ones before and made this one at the end. So what I've used is the vellum, and I heat embossed it in white, and then just added silver, Balmy Blue, and vellum. But this paper just was so pretty after I embossed it. It's, I have a piece right here. And I did use the scripty one. So there's three, you would know this, maybe you've already bought it. There's one with leaves and I call it holly. One with poinsettias. And then the one I used was the scripty one. So I just ran it through like I did every other one and it came out perfectly and it still had the little lines in the middle so you could bend it so yeah so that was blue that inspired me to try some more pastel colors so today I thought I would focus on pink so now I've done just about every color that you can imagine we've done um, well white vellum but on a blue card pink card champagne this is the red foil the uh, regular cardstock, red velvet, and very vanilla. I can't think of any other color that I would want to do. Hi, Fran. I can't think of any other color I would want to do a poppy. Is there a color I'm not thinking of to do a poppy or a paper? So I've done silver foil, gold foil, champagne foil. I've done the bronzes. I've done velvet red and uh i think that's it unless i'm missing something if you guys can tell me any other ones that i'm missing i will try and i can't think of any other pastel colors i would do i thought of purple but really i've never seen a purple poinsettia i do love purple though uh okay so thank you for joining me today it's sunday night so tomorrow i'll be back at three regular time and oh just drop them all on the floor. I'm not really sure what we'll be working on tomorrow, but you'll know when you join me at three. So I hope you're joining me on my mission to make a card, send a card. I do appreciate it when you share or like my video. And if you want to get notifications when I go live, you can follow me and then you'll get a little pop-up notification on your computer and you can join me. But they're all recorded and I share them up to my Facebook page. So if you just go under videos, you'll see all of them that I've done. I don't always go back and put titles on them, but you could, I try to leave a screenshot so I can do a thumbnail so you'll know which cards I've made in that Facebook Live. All right, I hope you had a great weekend and we'll see many of you tomorrow. Thanks and have a great night.